so here we are in Glasgow. This is um, our first morning here. And we're just spending the days of Sunday today, just getting to know the area. Um, obviously, we don't know where we're going. and just But just getting a feel for what the people are like here, what the environment is like, and um, definitely palpable differences between here and London. What was last night? Yeah, about <laughs> your first impressions. First impressions are, it's, it's fun, but you definitely can see the differences from here to London with the way the buildings are maintained and um, the kind of bars that there were even available. It was like, for instance, the drinks cost like a quarter what they would have in London. The, even like, the food. Even the food was like half price. Okay, so we're just in the side street next this to is, a... This is one block off their major... It looks like the nicest street in town. Really. Buchanan. That's like, their main shopping area. Yeah, main shopping area. Lots of banks. Really nice. But then this is a huge mall to the right here. Big mall here. And then we have shops underneath and vacant, rundown apartments above. Up the top there. I mean, I mean, you don't know if it's vacant or rundown, but, no, but you can tell like, the feel of it is probably inside. You would imagine it would need a little bit of tender love and care. <laughs> Cantonese speakers. I found them. So it is evening time now. We just arrived in Edinburgh. Uh, we drove from Glasgow. That was an experience because I was raised in Canada where we drive on the other side of the road. I've never driven on that side of the road. So a little bit of a learning process <laughs> coming over from Glasgow, but we made it. And we're staying in this beautiful hotel, The Bottom. It's very nice. It's about a five minute walk to the castle, but we're going to do that as soon as we finish this video. Okay, so we're in Edinburgh just for 24 hours, basically. Not for properties. It's Edinburgh. We can't just drive by. We have to stop and enjoy it for at least a day. We're going to do properties on Wednesday. We're going to go down to Newcastle and, and do that again. So let me tell you about the day. So we started the day early. We went to see our uh, mortgage broker and that was a very good meeting. It wasn't simply just talking about mortgages. It was he was giving us basically a breakdown of the whole process of fi getting financing and his knowledge about the Glasgow area. It, great guy. He spent about an hour with us when he only had a 30 minute schedule. But from that, we had a rush to meet our sourcing agent. So we didn't have any time to eat. We met him at around 11 and we ended up staying with him till about just before five o'clock. It was supposed to be three hours. It turned into almost five hours, six hours of looking at properties and discussing Glasgow and meeting with the solicitor, which is important, that meeting in particular, because they were able to check our documents in person rather than us getting them certified or notarized in Hong Kong and then having them shipped over to Scotland. So it just expedited that whole process. Looking at properties in Glasgow was very interesting. We just saw a bunch of different ones. Most of the ones we saw today didn't match with the strategy that we want to, to use, which is like trying to refinance them by raising the value. We saw one though that stood out as a potential, but we need to follow through with more details as there wasn't that much information available quite yet. So today for me was really cool because I am terrible at geography. I'm so bad, I get lost, I get lost in a mall. That's how bad I am. So to be able to have someone take me and show me, you know, from, you know, here's a map of Glasgow, these are the areas, um, you know, this area, this is very popular for this type of properties, just to have that visual reference and then not only to see that on a map, but to see it in person and walk through the streets, super valuable. So two other um, tips that we'd like to share with you guys um, is last night, Steve worked really hard. Um, I'm terrible at math, I'm terrible at geography and I'm terrible at math, which makes me a great investor. <laughs> But um, Steve worked out um, a spreadsheet with all the calculations on our own in a way that made sense to us. Um, and we brought, we brought my laptop and we were able to you know, run numbers right then and there on the spot. I, that, I found that very useful because then you know, when you look at the deals and you look at the details on the sheet, a lot of the times it looks very attractive. But once you plug in the numbers um, you know, based on what you uh, are looking for in a deal, you realize that some properties are just good on paper. Um, so I highly recommend that. The second thing that I highly recommend is make sure, make sure you eat 
before you get into the car with your sourcing agent because they, once they start they don't stop this person this um, our sourcing agent that uh, we were assigned to great guy uh, but he was a machine he just kept going I don't know how he did it we caffeine pills when you go on these days I think it's important to realize like you're not going out there to find like the one property if you do you might that's fantastic but for us what we took it as is a way to get a feel for the types of properties that were available in Glasgow so that when we go back to Hong Kong we have a frame of reference so just keep an open mind when you look at it most of the things we saw today we wouldn't consider as our investment strategy doesn't fit but it was still a valuable experience to be there and see it so now we're gonna go check out um, the city a little bit and we're gonna we were recommended a restaurant called the witchery so we're gonna check that out that sounds really cool um, and then we will Enjoy the night. Newcastle tomorrow. <laughs>